Alrighty, what's up guys, welcome back to a new video on East Coast Manga. So, today we're doing the long-awaited, at least for me, because I need to, like, organize this stuff, manga haul for January. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. I also have some stuff that, like, I guess it's just kind of a sneak peek, but I have some stuff I can't even show you guys yet because the uh, actual shopping vlogs haven't gone up. But there is a lot of stuff to go through, and I want to get this stuff out of uh, in front of me and put them on shelves and organize them. So there's not going to be any order to this. This was a lot of stuff because, well, multiple reasons, mostly because it's the holiday season, or not anymore, but it was the holiday seasons when I ordered a lot of the stuff. I had gift cards. I have a couple packages from a couple different people I bought from who gave me really good prices. I have stuff from the Right Stuff holiday sale that finally came in. And I also have some stuff from, from some really crazy stores, which I think you guys have already seen some of. But that's enough talking, let's get right into it. I'm gonna try my best to explain where I got certain things. Some things I'm probably not gonna remember, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make sure everything's in this video that I have in front of me. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this Right Stuff package, it's kind of in frame, kind of not. So in this package, I have the majority of this series right here, which this is a series you guys may have never thought I was getting into, although um, I posted on my story a couple times because there's a certain number of volumes, three or four volumes. I've been trying to find for this and I did end up purchasing, purchasing it. Some of the volumes aren't in yet. I think I'm missing two volumes, volume one and volume 16. But this series is Banana Fish, so we got uh, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 17, 18 and 19, so this is what I was able to get off right stuff. This is a series that's been really, really hyped on my Discord lately. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people have been talking about the anime. Shout out to We Do Be Collecting Manga, because you kind of talked me into getting this. To be honest, I can't really talk about the series because I haven't started it yet. I'm still waiting for Volume 1. But apparently it has something to do with uh, Mafia. Banana Fish is a drug, like an insane drug, that I think has been killing people or basically like driving people insane. Now this is labeled as a shoujo. I don't really read shoujo. Um, I just don't have a lot of shoujo manga in my collection. But I hear there's a lot of violence and stuff in this, and it just Sounded really cool, so I did pick it up. So I'll have a review at some point of this when I'm able to uh, read it and finish it. And then next, which was actually perfect timing, this is a series that I bought. I bought both models for this part, but only uh, the second half has been in stock so far, so they went ahead and shipped this out. Let me get it in order for you guys. But yeah, so we have JoJo Part 3, uh, Volume 6, 7, uh, it's not in order, but 8, 9, and 10. And uh, so yeah, so this, this is the second half of the bundle. I'm super excited to have to be able to pick this up. I got this off of the holiday sale. I actually didn't really expect this in this early, uh, but yeah, still super excited and uh, hopefully I can get the first half soon. Once I get the first half to this bundle, uh, so volumes, what, one through five, I will be continuing JoJo and letting you guys know what I think. And then next up, just getting the box in front of me, this is stuff that you guys have seen. If you watch my shopping vlog, which had some like crazy manga pickups in it, one of the last recent videos. Well, actually, before I show you that, uh, because we I just showed you Banana Fish, I will show you, I just saw these over to the side. So we have 13, and we have 14 right here. These were ordered. These were ordered off of uh, Kino Kunia, but this was actually a call-in order. So I called into their uh, Los Angeles location because I saw actually I saw Boogie Snacks video where he vlogged over there. I saw they had some banana fish. I was hoping they had Volume One, but they did not unfortunately. But they did have 13 and 14, which I was missing and I don't think is in stock on Right Stuff or Amazon. So, went ahead and got these bad boys. So the next couple of series, like I said, some stuff that some of you guys may be seen, but uh, probably a majority of you haven't. So we have the Flowers of Evil singles. Now, I do have the omnibuses, but um, I, I never plan on getting these. I really like the singles, but I love the omnibuses also. But I was presented with a pretty awesome opportunity to get most of these for a really, really good price. So I have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. Volume two is on the way from Amazon, and volume 10 is, well, it's really expensive. So volume 10 will come in the collection at some point in the future if I can get it for a good deal. Oshimi's known for his absolutely beautiful uh, covers though, so I'm gonna show you guys these real quick. So volume one, volume three, four, volume five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. I really like this cover. Um, I also really like cover 10, but obviously I don't have that, so I can't show you guys. Uh, next we have all these Battle Royale volumes. So we have uh, three, four, five, six, eight, two, and three, not really in order. I don't think I'm keeping any of these. I already have uh, my own set, which now I'm only missing like uh, maybe one or two volumes. But uh, yeah, these are going out to some friends. Next we have GTO volumes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten these are all in really really good condition there's some like just sticky residue which i can just take off with uh, some goo gone but i, I haven't do, i haven't gotten to it yet i was able to get these for retail uh in my my video and this is probably a series that i will end up piecing together very very slowly because of how expensive it is but i'm happy to uh, have a, a decent little chunk and uh in good condition too show you guys some of the covers real quick 
Next, we have a pretty cool series that I'm pretty uh, happy to have complete. We have Old Boy Volumes 1 all the way through 8. This is complete, although, uh, so I got all these from the store. I got this from Amazon. I am going to be replacing this one, though. It has a crease right down the spine. You guys might not even notice it. I'm pretty OCD sometimes when it comes to buying books from Amazon. If I buy books used like these, I don't really care what they look like as long as they're, like, put together and not falling apart. But if I buy from Amazon, I typically like to have my books in really good condition. But yeah, this is a really cool series to have complete. And most of these are still wrapped up, although, I mean, they're older, so they do have some yellowing, but, uh, most of these are still pretty wrapped up. Uh, eight's not wrapped up, but it is the most, I think, rare volume out of the whole set, so... I can't complain at all. Show you guys real quickly, just this is basically what the covers look like. To be totally honest with you, I don't hear great things about this manga. I've watched the movie, the movie's really, really good. I think most people just say watch the movie, to be honest. But honestly, as a collector, I'm pretty happy to, to have found this and have to pay, like, you know, resale prices or market prices or whatever. This was just back of the book retail price at this store, so, so I'm pretty happy to uh, be able to add this to the collection. Next, we have a just a random volume 34 of Gantz. I don't know why I bought this, I just. I just did. I don't even think this is really rare or anything like that. Um, this will probably just be sold for under retail to a friend or something like that. I, I don't really care to complete the singles with this just because they're so incredibly expensive. Maybe if I find a bunch for bulk that are maybe more than some some of the more expensive ones, I'll try to do it. But uh, I, I just have absolutely no interest. They're doing the omnibuses. I know they're super thick, but like... If you want to read the story, that's absolutely the cheapest way. Alrighty, so the next series, uh, the last actually series from this, like, from this purchase, we have 20th Century Boys singles. This is 3 through 14. And then, then we have 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, and 22. This is complete, although, uh, well, I mean, not complete. This is the last volume. But I am missing volumes 17 and 19, which for whatever god-awful reason, those are some of the hardest to find volumes. So if you guys have those, please let me know if you're willing to sell them. I'd love to complete the set. And you guys are probably thinking to yourself, well, I said 17 and 19, but like there was no 1 and 2. So actually, volume 1 is right here. This did not come from that purchase, though. Got this off Macari for like 15 bucks or something like that. It's in incredible condition, so... Uh, very happy with that. And then volume two was actually gifted by my boy Bryce from Instagram. He saw I picked this up and uh, he knew I was missing volume one and two. He had an extra volume two and uh, sent it over, which so I really, really appreciate that. And actually on that topic, I'm going to transition over to the other thing, which, uh, well, I bought these off him, but still for a really good price because volume one's really hard to find. So the other pack, I mean, I've already opened these packages, so there's no actual packages, but the other package that he sent me, uh, which once again, I, I bought these off him. So we have Erased volume one and two, the hardcover omnibuses volume one. In volume two so I got these from him super excited I love the anime I just watched it recently I thought it was incredible apparently the vo uh, the manga goes way more in depth and is overall just the better story out of the two although I thought the anime was just fantastic also uh, volume one I think is kind of hard to find right now so I'm happy to have picked this up and then because I picked those up I then was able to grab these off of Amazon we have volumes three four and five I am super excited to read this series so volume three four and five. I actually had to order two of these twice and I had to return them just because Amazon and hardcovers and these also have like a um, dust jacket so that, that kind of gets damaged when Amazon ships it sometimes. Yeah this was an, an incredible anime. It's on Netflix. Some people are like they have some things they don't love about it. I'm not gonna get into it but I, I do highly recommend you check this out in terms of the anime. And then the next two volumes which I just randomly found. I forgot to show these earlier. These were in a separate place. We have volume seven and volume five of Banana Fish. Banana Fish just cannot stop this video but I think well, I think seven I got off Amazon maybe and then five I got from uh, the store Comicopia which I go to but honestly I, I I don't really remember. And then next, I had a uh, Target gift card, which I used for these. These are pretty cool. I'm not super into graphic novels as much as I am into manga, but every once in a while, I do pick up a couple, you know, The Walking Dead saga, whatever. So this is an extremely popular series right now on Amazon. It's called The Boys. I have the first three omnibuses. I think there's six in total. Uh, this is in absolutely incredible series if you have not watched this on amazon you gotta do it it's it's incredible it's basically like real life superheroes but how they would actually be it's every superhero is an absolute scumbag it's insane i could literally talk about this show for days now in terms of the graphic novel the graphic novel's pretty different it's still good but it um a lot of the characters are totally different, even their like personalities and stuff. This is a lot faster, which usually in manga I actually prefer 
because there's a lot of filler in anime, but I actually like a slower roll with TV shows and stuff like that. So I'm enjoying the series, but I, I think, honestly, the TV adaptation might actually be better because they're both incredibly dark. So apparently I actually lied. There are actually two more series, which I forgot to show you guys from, from the other pickups, but we have... Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, volumes 25, 26, and 28, right here. I got these just to basically sell to any friends who need them or Discord people. I know maybe one or two of these are kind of hard to find, so I wanted to uh, make sure someone got it who was actually collecting it. And then the other series is for myself. I do have already the Lone uh, Wolf and Cub uh, complete set. And then right here, we have the new Lone Wolf and Cub, which you may be asking, well, what is this? Because they already have omnibuses, they already have the small versions of Lone Wolf and Cub, and now we we have new Lone Wolf and Cub, like what? Uh, this is actually the sequel to Lone Wolf and Cub that maybe not a ton of people know about. It's only 10, or less, sorry, it's only 11 volumes. It's relatively newer, not like new new, but obviously newer than Lone Wolf and Cub. And they're printed in very normal sized manga volumes. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it's, it's very normal sized. And I heard, um, I don't know if it was the old shaman or someone was talking about this series and they said, while it's not quite as good as Lone Wolf and Cub, it's still really, really good. So this will be going with my Lone Wolf and Cub singles. And you can always go back to the other video. I don't know which ones I got from this. I got a couple off Amazon. They're all retailer under. And yeah, very happy to have these. And then the next series, this is actually coming from Manga Unboxed. Uh, so shout out to him for selling me this for a really good price. We have the first Master Edition. I don't spelled like blame, but it's supposed to actually sound like the uh, sound effect of like, I don't know if it's like a bomb going off or whatever, but that's apparently why it's pronounced like that. But uh, yeah, I have some of the singles for this, but I, I'm missing like, I think volumes, volumes like one in four or something like that. So I think I'm gonna sell those and just go this route. And these things are really, really cool. They're absolutely massive and just seem like uh, really, really good quality. And there's, I think there's only five of them. So if I'm able to get them for good prices, I think that would be uh, ideal. Also shout out to his packaging. I'll throw that. Um, Maybe right here, I think. But honestly, I, I, I really hope people actually pay attention to the packaging because it really goes a long way, um, especially with books and stuff like that. The next volume actually really stressed me out because this was sent before Christmas. Priority was supposed to show up like around Christmas and it didn't show up till like weeks after and I was afraid it was it just wasn't tracking so I was afraid it got lost. And uh, I got this for an awesome price from a uh, homie on Discord, Yugami. And this finally finishes a certain arc on my channel and also a certain series on my channel. And this is Zatch Bell volume 25. I am extremely happy to pick this up. This is the last volume and I uh, can finally finish this series. And then next, moving into, I think, a Right Stuff box, we have, actually, this, I think this came from Barnes & Nobles. We have Quintessential Quintuplets Volume 12. This is the newest release as of right now. I think there's only a couple more volumes coming, but uh, yeah, Quintessential Quintuplets. Next, we have another random volume. I don't even remember where I got this from, but we have Banana Fish Volume 2. I told you guys, it's just, it's, it's never ending with this series. They just keep showing up everywhere around me. But yeah, so this is Volume 2. And then the next series from uh, Right Stuff, this is also holiday stuff. This took a while to ship. Uh, it was in stock, but it took a while to process and then finally ship. But uh, this is a series that I'm currently working on. It's extremely hyped right now. The anime is going crazy. I'm, I'm about halfway through the manga. And like I said, currently working on it, currently reworking on it. But yeah, we have volumes 18 through 13, no, set, sorry, 17 through 31 of Attack on Titan. I have, uh, technically 32 is the newest one out, and that should be coming soon. Yeah, just an absolutely incredible series that just gets better and better and better as you read and as you watch. Uh, so super excited to uh, be able to catch up with this. All right, well, apparently I forgot to show uh, new, Lo new Lone Wolf and Cub Volume 7. Uh, so this is that right here so i do have a full set this is volume 7 this just wasn't with the other ones apparently uh also with that attack on titan package i have some other things that were on sale back then on right stuff uh volumes four five and six there's a lot of good i don't know if you guys can see those uh but yeah i've already read these and the story is definitely getting a lot better it's getting a lot more not safe for work though so if you are um, interested in getting into this, it I would say compared to his other printed works, uh, this definitely gets a little more graphic. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, I guess. And then the other one, which my Discord really wanted me to get and check out, is Sweat and Soap. I don't know if this is going to be any good. I uh, It was on sale on Right Stuff, and they just convinced me to get it, so... I guess we'll check it out and let you guys know. And I don't know if I've showed you guys this series yet, uh, in terms of, like, these couple volumes I picked up. I don't think so. Uh, but I did manage to finally finish this series, which I've been wanting to for a while. And the series I'm talking about is Goodnight Poon Poon, so we have volumes 
four, five, and six of this series. I, I think I got these off Amazon. This is honestly, it's hard to remember because some of this stuff, some of the stuff I got in December, so like technically I'm making this video in January, but some of the stuff I got in December, some of the stuff I got like even like early December and they just, it took a while to ship. And then also this volume was out of stock for a while, but finally came back on stock on Amazon for it's under retail price. I didn't want to pay retail or over, but we have Goodnight Poon Poon volume seven. Right now, I don't know if it's in stock or not, but um, I just wanted to grab it before uh, it, it did go out of stock again. The next series we have is Blade of the Immortal. Uh, this is Omnibus 10. This is the last Omnibus. So technically I have this complete in terms of purchases, but I'm still waiting for volume nine to come in the mail. So once that comes in, I'll actually be able to uh, have this complete. I've heard nothing but amazing things as of recent. So uh, that kind of pushed me to try to finish the series. And then we also have, and then we have real volume nine and 12. Uh, I also have volume three on my shelf. And then hint, hint, uh, I do have a package that's uh, coming in the mail from a uh, awesome store, but they're pretty slow, so that'll be in the next haul. Uh, then we also have Moriarty Volume 2. I don't know if I've showed this off before, but uh, this was really good. Really enjoyed this too. Uh, next series we have is Astra Lost in Space Volumes 1 through 5. This is it. This is complete. I've also heard nothing but amazing things from this series uh, recently within Discord, and uh, yeah, it's only five, five series, so relatively short. Uh, short series. I hear this is kind of like Among Us, but like manga version. Obviously, this, this was done way before for. But uh, yeah, here there's a lot of uh, crazy things that happen and the ending is apparently really, really good. All right, so I actually just got a uh, package to show you guys. I think I know what this is. Uh, and if it is what it is, I'm very, very excited. So let me open this up and show you guys. This is also coming international, so I'm pretty sure I only ordered one thing internationally. And uh, yeah, let's see. Oh boys, boys, I am, I am, I am hyped right now. I'm not gonna lie. I this is a very expensive volume of manga, and I did not think this was gonna come in. I had never ordered from this place before. This was just some random shop in the UK I ordered from. I didn't think it was not gonna come in, but I didn't think it was gonna come in for a while. And uh, my other package, which just shipped from in stock, is actually going to complete this. So we have volume two out of print slash out of stock right now of real this like I said is I bought this off of a random UK store that someone in my discord linked um, it was a bit, a bit expensive because of shipping shipping was like maybe $20 and then the exchange rate a little bit uh, so I think I said it on stream but I think I paid maybe like um, 30 bucks so although this was a bit over retail this was this was much cheaper than uh, what people are selling it for online I think this is also another manga that's kind of going for like maybe $100 or something like that I'm hoping they do a reprint soon because they are coming out with the volume, I think, 15, uh, which is the newest volume that he's released. And he's also said to be working on this a lot faster than uh, what he was, than what he used to do. Next, we have what seems to be a really interesting manga. I'm super excited to get into this. I randomly just found this on Amazon one day. It sounded super interesting. And then I was watching one of Old Shaman's videos, and he actually did mention this, and was kind of talking about this too. He hadn't read it then. This manga right here is Onward Towards Our Noble Death. So basically, from what I know about this manga, it's essentially this army troop, or not troop, but um, it's basically about these guys in a Japanese army who are at war, and they basically get sent on a suicide mission, and they end up surviving, and because of that, they're treated horribly, they're made to do, like, terrible things, and, uh, like, just have, like, all their respect basically stripped, so, de so I'm definitely interested to read about this. I don't think it's a real story, but the mangaka who did it apparently has some experience as a, um, it has some experience in the army, so, you know, his viewpoint is definitely going to be interesting. Next, we have two more Ennio Sano works, so we have Solonim, which you guys pretty much already know about, I would assume a lot of people know about this. I don't really know what the story is too much, but I hear really, really good things, so definitely going to be going on a Asano binge pretty soon. And the next series we have by Asano is What a Wonderful World. We have Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are the only two volumes in the set. I think Volume 1 is out of print and expensive right now, but I actually did, I got this from one of the other places, one of the stores. Volume 2, I think, I got from Amazon, so I'm definitely happy I don't have to pay crazy eBay prices for volume one. And then next, I mean, some of the stuff I got with the Amazon gift card, I also have a, I also had a Barnes and Nobles gift card, so I also got some stuff from there. Uh, we have Blue Period, which I actually just made a review on. So if you guys want to check that out, that's probably going to be one of my last videos. Uh, so volume one and two, this is a painting manga, really, really good. We also have another series. We have Blue Flag, and this is volumes one through five. And this is also a really, really good series that I got from Barnes Nobles recently. So these are the artworks for the covers. Really nice artwork. 
and this is the newest one, Volume 5. So I just reviewed Blue Period, but I'm actually, I have a, a first impression for Volume 1 of Blue Flag coming up soon, and then maybe I'll review it after I read, like, the five volumes. But this is a really good manga. Didn't expect to get into this manga either. It's also relatively quick to read. It's not, it doesn't take too long, so if you want to get into a different type of series, if you're kind of into more of the stuff that I, that I usually buy, Blue Flag is definitely one to check out. And I think this ends it off with the manga, so we have Girls Last Tour, Volume 1. I got this one from Barnes & Nobles, and I got this one from Comicopia. This was half off, uh, because, I don't know, it was a little yellow or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is an interesting manga I hear really good things about. There's only like maybe six volumes, so definitely interested in uh, completing this. So I think that completes it with all the manga from this haul. I do have even more stuff to the right of me, but like I said, that's for the next haul because these shopping videos have not uh, been released yet, so I don't want to spoil those. Uh, so I'll just throw those in the next one. And I'll tell you right now, there's some crazy pickups. I I found a comic store that is selling just insane Dark Horse manga for $5 a pop. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, definitely stay tuned for either my next haul or the shopping video, which will probably come out before my next haul. Uh, but yeah, in terms of anime though, real quick, I did pick up two anime, which I don't typically do, but this was from uh, Sentai Filmworks, and they had a huge, like, super cheap uh, sale. So I got the Ajin Demi Human Limited Edition box set. This was 10 bucks typically. I think it was like $80 or like over 100 or something stupid like that. Now, I think box sets and Blu-rays and everything are just extremely overpriced, but this is the... Um, box set. This is the outside, and then it came with you know limited edition whatever. The um, I think this is the DVD, and this is the Blu-ray, and then this is some I don't know some pamphlet whatever extra. Um, but this was kind of cool. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Ajin, so this is a basically a variant cover of Ajin, um, same size and everything, but uh, different spine and you know outside. So this was pretty cool, and this this whole thing, like I said, was 10 bucks. And then a movie which I've been wanting to get into is Firefly, or sorry, The Grave of Fireflies. So definitely super interested to watch this. I hear it's very sad. And this was also super, super cheap, which, I mean, good because, like, look at, I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, it, it doesn't even look that good on the outside, like, the printing. Uh, but I... I that's just that's just the material, but this is I hear this is really really good and really really sad. So yeah, it's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button. I usually don't say that, but I just I all my videos are gonna be like this. I have a ton of stuff to still show you, so I want to make sure you guys see that and it shows up in your sub box if you're interested in this type of content. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys picked up this month. Stay tuned for my reading log, and yeah, I will catch you guys later.